Vincenzo Cuoco October 1, 1770 to December 14, 1823, was an Italian writer. He is mainly remembered for his saggio storico sulla Rivoluzione Napolitana del 1799, historical essay on the Neapolitan Revolution of 1799. He is a considered one of the precursors of Italian liberalism and the realist school. Cuoco adapted the critique of political rationalism of Edmund Burke and Joseph de Maistre for liberal ends, and has been described as a better historian than either of them. He influenced many subsequent Italian intellectuals, from Hugo Foscolo and Alessandro Manzoni to Bertrando and Silvio Spaventa to Benedetto Croce and Antonio Gramsci. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life Vincenzo Cuoco was born into a middle-class family in the town of Civita Campomerano, near Campobasso in the Molise region of central Italy. His father was Michelangelo Cuoco, a lawyer and economist, while his mother was Columba de Marinis. He studied in his native town under Francesco Maria Pepe, then moved to Naples in 1787 to study jurisprudence and become a lawyer, but instead found himself attracted to economics, philosophy, history, and politics. In Naples he had the opportunity to meet some of the prominent intellectuals of southern Italy, including Giuseppe Maria Galani, who in a letter to Vincenzo's father described the young man as capace, di molta abilita e di molto talento, able, of great skill and great talent. Although Trascurato, careless, and indolent, lazy, Galanti was probably not entirely satisfied with Vincenzo's collaboration on his Descrizione Geografica e Politica della Sicily. During his studies, Cuoco was deeply influenced by Enlightenment writers from southern Italy Genovesi, Galliani, and of course Galanti and France Montesquieu, Rousseau, as well as by earlier writers, especially Giambattista Vico and Niccolò Machiavelli. Revolution and exile When the Neapolitan Revolution broke out in January 1799, Vincenzo Cuoco strongly supported the new republican government installed in place of the monarchy of Ferdinand I of the Two Sicilies. He became secretary to Ignazio Gonfalonieri and was tasked with the organization of the Volturno department. Following the reinstatement of the monarchy in June 1799, Cuoco was imprisoned for a few months, his belongings confiscated, and was then forced into exile. He took refuge first in Paris, then in Milan, where he published his main work, Saggio storico sulla rivoluzione napolitana del 1799. He accepted positions in the Repubblica Cisalpina and the Repubblica Italiana, most notably the job of executive editor of the Giornale Italiano magazine during the period 1804 to 1806 his articles in the Giornale spurred Italians towards change in ethics society politics and the economy in order to make themselves worthy of national independence during this period he also wrote his epistolary novel Platon in Italia published in 1806 topic back to Naples In 1806 Vincenzo Cuoco returned to Naples, as Ferdinand I of the Two Sicilies had been deposed in favor of Giuseppe Bonaparte Napoleon's elder brother. He was given significant responsibilities in the public administration, first as Consigliere di Cassazione Counselor to the Supreme Court, then as Duratore del Tessero Director of the Treasury. He distinguished himself as one of the most important counselors of the government of Joachim Murat. He wrote for the magazine Monitor della Du Sicilie. Monitor of the Two Sicilies, and founded the Giornale Costituzionale della Due Sicily, Constitutional Journal of the Two Sicilies. In 1809, Cuoco also drafted a progetto per l'ordinamento della pubblica istruzione nel regno di Napoli, quote opening parenthesis quote, project for the ordainment of public education in the Kingdom of Naples, in which he expounded his view of public education as an indispensable tool towards the formation of a common national awareness in the people. In 1808 he was the president of the Accademia Pontaniana. In 1810 he was named chief of the Provincial Council of Molise and, in 1812, wrote the Viaggio in Molise. 
journey through Molise about his native region. In 1815, after Ferdinand I was restored to the throne following the Battle of Tolentino, Cuoco retired from politics. Illness and death After his retirement, Cuoco started to show worrying signs of mental instability. He reportedly destroyed some of his writings, had frequent breakdowns, and became increasingly apathetic and withdrawn from social life. There are no clues as to the exact cause of these symptoms, but whatever the disease was, he died of it in Naples in 1823. Topic. Works Letter of Vincenzo Russo, Letters to Vincenzo Russo, written during the 1799 Neapolitan Republic, the letters comment on the constitution that was being written for the nascent republic and champion devolution. Saggio storico sulla rivoluzione napolitana del 1799, Historical essay on the Neapolitan Revolution of 1799. Published in 1801 in Milan, where Cuoco was exiled, is a passionate critique of the short-lived Republican Revolution, which Cuoco identified as doomed to failure because it was carried out by an elite of revolutionaries detached from the common people, yet praiseworthy because it tried to free the people and was paid for with the heroic sacrifice of the revolutionaries' lives once the monarchy was restored. Cuoco wrote a second edition which was published in 1806 and remains the standard account to this day. Platone in Italia, Plato in Italy, published in 1806 in Milan. This is an epistolary novel in which Cuoco imagines an ancient civilization that flourished in southern Italy before the Greek colonization and yearns for a spiritual rebirth of Italy stemming from its own traditions, and not from foreign influences. This theme would be reprised continually throughout the Risorgimento, most notably by Vincenzo Gioberti. <laughs> 